Hello everyone, you're watching Altec 2K. I'm here today to answer the question, is this the best budget bleed axe in Path of Exile currently? And before we move on, let me give you some context. Hidden deep within the patch notes for Ultimatum was a little note about removing the Elder Influence modifier that granted us 60% chance for bleeding inflicted with this weapon to deal 100% more damage. Instead, we gained up to 59% to damage over time multiplier for bleeding inflicted with this weapon. As many of you know, I've been building a Bladestorm character that scales bleeding. And with my current axe, my character has started to struggle against tier 16 mobs. And there's only one thing to do when that happens in Trade League, and that's to go shopping. So I hit the trade sites and started looking for an upgrade. Everything was looking far too pricey for my budget. So I started fiddling with the settings to see if I could get a nicer price. And I came across an axe which has been in the game for an awfully long time. And that meant instead of grinding tier 14 maps to get the 6 exalts or upwards so I would need to buy a new axe, I could instead get one for 20 chaos, which is far more friendly for my budget. Now bear in mind you can get one of these axes starting at 2 chaos, so they are incredibly cheap. Now interestingly enough, this axe actually changed last league, but the wiki hadn't been updated so I didn't pick this up when I did my bleed guide. So what's changed with this axe? Its increase to physical damage has increased from 110% to 150%. It's now gained 25-35% to 35 to damage over time multiplier for bleeding inflicted with this weapon. Now it has lost all its life lease modifiers and its attack speed. Now you might be thinking, but 35% is a damn sight less than 59%. It's not actually quite that bad because this axe grants a new skill called Thirst for Blood. Thirst for Blood gives us 20% more damage with bleeding, which takes us up to around 50%, because a multiplier and more, I think, is approximately the same thing. In addition to that, it grants us 5 beams, which attach to nearby enemies, and gives us 400 life per enemy affected. That's up to 2000 healing, which is absolutely obscene. So what's the catch? When you switch on Thirst for Blood, it will reserve 10% of your life which in the case of this build, is about 600 life, which isn't a small amount, but it's still very, very strong. There is one more catch, and that's that this axe has a mouth of its own. Yes, it talks. It's a bit weird, and it freaks you out a little bit at the beginning until you get used to it. I am used to it now, and it doesn't bother me quite so much as it did. It says things like this. Die, die, die. And that really is the only drawbacks for this axe. It really is amazingly powerful for the cost of just two chaos. And I haven't actually told you what it is yet, but you've probably worked it out from the video. If you haven't, it is Jack the Axe. And it is truly, truly remarkable, and it will take you all the way to the end game. I haven't killed Cyrus with it yet, but I'm pretty close to getting there, and based on the speed at which it kills Conquerors, I don't think Cyrus is going to be an issue. The other thing to note is this character only has level 18 gems, not level 20 or 21, so it is a little bit weaker than it will be once it gets those gems. If you're interested in learning more about Path of Exile, you can check out my guides in this playlist up here, or if you want to watch my latest video, it's right there. If you did like or enjoy this video or found it useful, then smash that like button. And with that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.